I'm Katrina Gibbon and I'm the sports scientist here at Scottish Squash and this video is an introduction to the balls warm-up that we use here at the National Squash Centre. The balls warm-up covers balance, activation, lengthening and stability and all exercises should be done 10 reps at a time. The arabesque to lunge is a great exercise to start a warm up with. You want to aim to have a flat back, a slight bend in the standing leg and a straight back leg to lengthen out the hamstrings and activate the muscles around the hips and the hamstrings. The lunge with a twist is another great exercise to incorporate some sport specific movement with the lunge and the twist to get the body working together at the same time. The hop and hold is good for balance and stability. You want to aim to land with a soft knee, hopping in all directions, forwards, backwards and to each side on both legs. The monster walk is a great exercise to activate the muscles around the hips, which is important for stability of the knee during the lunge. You want to keep the knees bent and keep the hips level as you step out without letting the body wobble side to side. The pec stretch is great for squash players to open out the chest and lengthen the muscles in the shoulder that can become quite tight from swinging the racket. You want to keep the shoulder and the elbow at 90 degrees during this stretch. The sleeper stretch is another stretch that's good for lengthening out the muscles in the shoulder. You want to lie on your side with your elbow coming straight out from your shoulder and push the forearm as close to the ground as you can. The single leg sword draw, you want to stand on the end of the theraband and hold it in the opposite hand. With a slight dip in the knee, you want to lengthen up and pull the theraband overhead, keeping your balance, your hips level and activating the muscles in your arm and shoulder. The shoulder control exercise can either be done on your own, holding one end of the resistance band behind your back and the other end overhead, reaching out with that arm. It can also be done with a partner, holding one end of the resistance band. For this, you want to keep your elbow out straight from your shoulder and rotate without pulling the elbow back or down. The deep squat to side lunge should be done starting in a deep squat position with the feet flat and the knees out over the toes and a flat back. From there you want to reach out with one leg and swing the hips over finishing on that leg in a deep squat position. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. The balls warm up has been put together by myself and Ollie the physio, who works with Scottish squash. Uh, we identified some common injuries within the squash players and hopefully this warm up will help that. So look out for some more videos coming soon.